Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we are going to do another power station and I know I can, I can hear you already. Oh no, another power station. Well, I think you might be uh, glad I'm doing this one. This was the cheapest power station I could find on Amazon. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, the prices on Amazon change all the time. They go up, they go down. So that may long, no longer be true. But when I bought this, it was an incredibly good price. And so I thought, you know, there are a lot of my uh, listeners who can't afford to spend the, the money to get a premium uh, product like the Blue Eddy. Um, so I thought, well, let me, let me come out and test a few of the cheap ones. So I went ahead and ordered it and bought it. Spent my own money on this thing. All right, let's go through what all we've got. Here is a, um, a cigarette lighter plug with an XT60. Uh, that's a really, really common and standard plug, so I'm delighted that they're using it. Uh, here is your MC4 cables with an XT60. That's also really good. And this is the charger, uh, and it's eight millimeter. So that's fine too. About eight millimeter and XT sixties are just common, universal. I yes, I was right. It's a different name. It's Hepway. So the name on this was Hepway, and the it's no longer that. When I ordered it, it was Hepway. If I went today and looked at the exact same one, just a quick note on how Chinese manufacturers work. You any anybody can go to this where this. Uh, assembly factory and buy one of these uh, they'll sell it to you if you order a thousand of them they'll just sell you the whole thing and and then it will have their name on it if you order usually something like five thousand the numbers are different they will put your name on it so uh, that's why you see so many of these that are identical they they're just mass manufacturing them and then slapping anybody's name on them as long as they buy enough products okay now this is a very small uh, power station. That's one of the reasons why I really liked it and chose it. Uh, but it's got a 1154 amp hour battery. That is very large. That's the size of a 100 amp battery. Now that's, this is the size of a 100 amp battery. So they have really packed everything in here. And it has a 1500 watt max inverter and it will run at 1300 watts. Okay, just a little information. Uh, it, it plug, you can charge it with both an uh, eight millimeter, which uh, the Jackery kind of made standard. That's what's on a Jackery. So the eight millimeter goes right on there. And the XT60. So this is the uh, MC4 cable to XT60 and it just plugs straight in. Uh, so I think that's excellent. It has four um, uh, AC outlets and again up to 1500 watts combined total and 1300 steady running. It'll do a peak, it'll do a surge to 1500, which isn't much. Two standard five volt um, USBs, a quick QC, 18 watt, which is uh, the blue one. If you look up close, you'll see that it's got the blue one on it. Power delivery, three at 60 watts. That's very good. Um, power delivery gives you your really fast USB charging, and it's on a USB-C. It will be C to C, and that's one of the fasters. The, the fastest you can get is 100 watt, but you know, you're know you not spending much on this. I haven't told you the price yet. That's the big surprise. Okay, so again, this is tiny, and uh, it's got a 1154 watt hour battery. That is a very large battery and it has a 1300 watt inverter. Those are great, great numbers. Everything about this is really good. The full retail on this is $600, $599. Right now, uh, and every time I've gone and look at it, there's been a $200 off coupon. So right now this is $399. $400 for such a small unit that, uh, has 1154 watt hour. Basically, that's a 100 amp hour battery. Uh, you can easily pay $600 just for a, a battery and uh, 1300 watt inverter. So that's just very, very impressive. So 400 bucks is just a super price. And if you need the biggest battery you can get, I believe this is going to end up being 
probably the cheapest battery that you can buy. So what is the downside? Well, I haven't used it yet. Maybe it doesn't work well. I don't know. I'll use it and come back and tell you in this video exactly how it's working. The downside is it's not LIFEPO 4. So LIFEPO 4 is more expensive and uh, lasts drastically longer. So this is just standard lithium ion, like all the other power stations are. And so you're not going to get the life out of this that you would out of a good LIFEPO 4 battery. But it's less than half the price. And so for a lot of us, and I know a lot of us are on really tight budgets, you, it's worth it. Buying a lithium ion that's going to work great for two, three, four, five years for $400 with this battery capacity, that makes it well worth it to you for $400. Okay, so let me compare, do a direct comparison because this is one I happen to have with me. This is the brand new Blue Eddy AC60. It has a 600 watt inverter, literally less than half the size of the inverter. And this is only 400 watt hours. This is 1154 watt hours, one third the size of the battery. And this is $400 and I believe this is full retail at 700. So, wow. I mean, that's why I, we're looking at this because it dollars and cents, you're getting so much more for your money. And again, a Blue Eddy is a superb premium product. You're going to get a much longer life. But if you need this much battery, and you just can't afford to pay, you know, a thousand bucks and up for this much battery, then this is the way to go. So that's why I'm going to do the full testing, the reliability testing on it. Uh, use it as much as I can and recharge it as much as I can. There's very little information on it. It's going to be a lot of exploration. As far as I can tell right now, it will only take 200 watts of solar. I don't know that that's for sure. I will find out by plugging in different size solar panels and then we'll know. So right now, I don't know a lot about it. You may know nearly as much as I do, but I'm gonna know a lot about it and I'll come back to you and tell you. Um, right now, this is the best bang for the buck you can get. And I'll let you know if it's worth even that $400, if it's worth that. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. So welcome back. Now we've completed the testing of the Hepway I'm sitting here by these solar panels and you'll see uh, these are the panels I have tested on it while I tested those panels. They're each 200 watts. The Hepway will take 200 watts. So I've been testing each one of those into here. Also, at the same time I was testing these three solar panels, I was testing three other total of four power stations. So I'm just, I, I've been busy little beaver uh, testing different solar panels and power stations. And so I'm going to give you my final conclusions on the Hepway. Okay, so f first, let's talk about the name Hepway. Uh, as I described earlier, uh, uh, a, a plant, manufacturing plant in China makes these and they'll sell them to anybody with any name on them. So I ordered a Hepway and I went back to double check what the price was now before I shot this uh, final review and now Hepway is gone. You can't find it on Amazon. Instead, it's Seascom. What a weird name. So the name, I, and I found this exact unit under uh, another complete name that I couldn't pronounce e either, but it's some other weird name and it's expensive. It's $1,100. So uh, they come under any different name. The, the, I'll give you a link to the most current one in the description so that you can go and I'll put up a screenshot and you'll see the, the name it uses. And the new ones don't have a name anywhere on them. This way, this one says Hepway, you know, very clearly, the new ones don't even say that. They just don't really have a name. And even the advertising on Amazon doesn't have it. So just go to the link and hopefully it's still up there. So uh, my final thought is this is the best bang for the buck of any power station I've ever looked at. It's 1154 watts and I paid $400 for it. That means about 33 cents a watt hour. That's incredible. That's by far the cheapest one I've seen. That's the only reason I bought it. The big disadvantage to this is that it's not LifePo 4. So it's going to get about a thousand cycles. That's what they rated at a thousand cycles. That's pretty realistic. 
whereas a good LIFEPO 4 will get 2,500 to 3,500. So you're not gonna get the life out of it. But you save 600 bucks. You can buy almost three of these as you can for one of the LIFEPO 4s. Although the LIFEPO 4 is coming down and it's getting closer and closer, but it's still much cheaper. If you only have 400 bucks, this is the thing you should buy. Uh, you can wait a long time and buy a Blue Eddy or, or a, a one of the good uh, Echo Flows. There's a lot of really good brand names. Anchors come out with some great ones. They're, and they're LIFEPO 4, but they're all gonna be a whole lot more money. So if you've only got 400 bucks and you want as big a, a, a battery with the most watt hours, 1154 watt hours for $400 is the best I think you're going to do. It's just really a screaming, screaming deal. The inverter is 1500 watts uh, peak and down to 1300 watts. It would not run my microwave. I had not expected it to. This will run just about everything but major cooking appliance, uh, tools. If you wanted to run one of the big chop saws or table saws, it probably can't do that. It'll run most of your hand tools, but not your big tabletop tools. It's just doesn't got the power. The main thing most of us care about is being able to run our fridges in the winter when the uh, sun is at its worst. On, on December 21st, the sun is the shortest day, lowest on the horizon, lots of cloudy days. That's when you need an 1154 watt hour battery. That's the minimum that will get you through. And even then you get a week of, uh, of clouds that won't even do it then. So, but that's good enough. I tell everyone the minimum is 1154 watt hours, 200 watts of panels. So for with one of these for about 200 bucks, 270 bucks, and this for 400, for less than $700, you're, you're really set. You're running your fridge and everything else you want to run. It has all the features you need. It's a little heavy. I think it's 26 pounds, but you know, we can all pick this up and walk around with it. It's not going to be a problem. The really big units are 40, 50, 60 pounds. You're gonna have problems with those. If you're older, you got some arthritis, you got a back problem, but most of us are gonna be able to handle this. It's very small. If you're in a car, you're gonna find, find a space for this. It's very, very compact. So uh, all in all, what I'm telling you is uh, go buy this. If, if money is your highest priority, you don't have much to spend, you want to have solar, you got to go now, you've gotten your eviction notice, you don't have much money, you got to keep your, um, you've got to keep your emergency fund. Don't spend your emergency fund on even solar. Buy the cheapest solar you can buy, which in this case would be about less than $700, one of these for $400, and one of those for $250, $200, $250, uh, and you're set. That's all you've got to have, and you're comfortable with electricity. Now the price of this thing does vary. Right now it's uh, $500. So you're gonna have to go and just watch them and put it in your cart uh, or put it in your wish list and save for a uh, later list and then just go and check on it. Eventually it'll be on sale again for 400 or less. And so grab it then. And if you can, if you have more money to spend, buy better quality, get the LifePo 4, buy a Blue Eddy. I'd really recommend Blue Eddy, but it's going to cost you a lot more money. Okay, you decide what you can afford, but never cut into your emergency fund. Not even for electricity. Do without. Just do simply USB. Uh, never cut into your emergency fund. Okay, that's my advice. I hope it's useful to you and that you get something out of it. Now, because the name is so confusing, there is a link to this down in the description. Hopefully they're still there. It's still under a name that you can find and figure out and you can get this kind of price for it. So go down to the description. So go check those out. If you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, hit it a couple, three times. Why not? Okay. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.